When most people think of the city of Nagoya, they think of it as one of the largest cities in Japan and a middle stop on the Shinkansen or bullet train line from Tokyo to Kyoto. Travelers stopping over in the city are often looking for historical sites to visit. With a little research, the most famous and popular site is by far Nagoya Castle. Nagoya Castle was built in the early 17th century by the famous Japanese warrior and statesman Tokugawa Ieyasu. It was the residence of the Owari branch of the Tokugawa family who ruled the region at the time. Like much of Japan, the castle was destroyed during World War II but was reconstructed in the 1950s. With its majestic size and grounds, it's an easy go-to tourist attraction in Japan. But, what else is there to do if you're interested in Japanese historical culture? The second most popular, and probably important, historical site in Nagoya is the Osu Kanon Temple. The Osu Kanon Temple is a Buddhist temple that dates back to the Kamakura period, which is 1185 to 1333 AD. It is dedicated to Kanon, the Buddhist goddess of mercy and compassion, and is one of the oldest and most revered temples in the city. The temple was originally founded in the early 14th century by a Buddhist priest named Shuri Shonin, who came to Nagoya from Kyoto. At that time, the area where the temple is located was known as Osu, and was a thriving center of commerce and culture. The relationship between Nagoya Castle and the Osu Kanon Temple goes back centuries. In the Edo period, which was 1603 to 1868, the Owari Tokugawa family, who ruled Nagoya, supported the temple financially and politically. The temple was also used as a gathering place for samurai and other officials. During the Meiji period, which was 1868 to 1912, Japan underwent major political and social changes, and the relationship between the castle and the temple changed as well. The government took control of the temple and many of its lands were confiscated. Over the centuries, the temple underwent several changes and renovations, including a major reconstruction in the 19th century. Likewise, it was again heavily damaged during World War II. However, much of the temple's original architecture and artwork have been preserved, including a wooden statue of Canon that dates back to the temple's founding. The temple complex today consists of several buildings, including the main hall, a pagoda, a bell tower, and a beautiful garden. Today the temple is a popular destination for tourists and locals alike, who come to pray, meditate, and appreciate its rich history and cultural heritage. It attracts visitors from all over the world and is particularly busy during festivals and events, such as the Osu Summer Festival, which is held in July and August each year. Visitors to the temple are encouraged to participate in traditional Buddhist practices such as chanting and meditation. The temple also offers various cultural programs such as tea ceremonies and calligraphy classes to visitors who are interested in learning more about Japanese culture and spirituality. Did I mention there are pigeons? Lots of pigeons! And you can feed them too if that's your thing. Feeding the pigeons is a fun activity for visitors of all ages. Beside the temple, you can also find the Osu Kanon Shopping Arcade, a bustling street market which features a wide variety of shops selling traditional Japanese handicrafts, clothing and food. This market has been a fixture of the Osu district for centuries and is a must-see attraction for visitors to Nagoya. And you will 
never know what or who you might see while strolling through the arcade. Here I came across a famous Japanese character, Kamen Rider, posing for photos with fans. You'll also find lots of clothing shops from high quality wear to strange outfits. Want the perfect souvenir from Japan? How about a t-shirt? Just make sure you know what the kanji or characters mean before buying one. I'm not sure they have the copyright for some of these, but the material was good quality. Another thing you might notice is that Japanese people love lining up for things. These people are lining up for a new sweet shop. also expect to see a lot of strange things as well. Here's a guy walking a... Uh, mm, not sure about this one. Who would have thought you might run into owls as well? and whatever these strange pets are. Also be prepared for a lack of seating to take a rest which is actually surprisingly common in Japan. These people are taking a break on the road. And this was probably the strangest thing of the day for me. This shop with a tiny door to enter and exit. What could be inside? Well, you'll have to find out for yourself. But I did find this tiny window to peek in. So, if you're looking to make a stopover in Nagoya, in addition to Nagoya Castle, make sure you check out the Osu Cannon Temple and Shopping Arcade. You won't be disappointed. And please don't forget to like and subscribe for more interesting and fun videos from Japan.